next news. Arrested for offending Buddhists. Um, award-winning, award-winning Sri Lankan writer uh, Shakthika uh, Sathkumara stands accused of having hurt the religious feelings of Buddhists and advocated hatred in connection to a short story he had published on his Facebook page. The short story, titled Ardha, or meaning half, argued... One more time. Ardha, which means half. Thank you. <laughs> um, this short story angered Buddhists groups in Sri Lanka, who alleged the story is derogatory and defamatory to, uh, towards Buddhism, owing to its indirect references to homosexuality within the Buddhist clergy, and also due to a different rendering uh, told by the characters of the short story of the legendary Siddhartha uh, in the Buddhist literature. Um, in April of 2019, he was arrested and held in detention for uh, 127 days. In September, he has to go to court, where he is still facing charges of malicious intention to outrage religious feelings and inciting hostility with a punishment of up to 10 years in prison. So this is proof Buddhism is could be as, not as, but also uh, a harmful religion. This is blasphemy. Anyways... Um, Shobhan, uh, you should be speaking right now. Okay, for one. So, okay, so first I of give all, you, I I'm... give you permission to speak. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyways, if you wouldn't have, I would have just. I mean, anyways, let's not go. Uh, anyway, so so for people who don't know, uh, the legendary character Siddhartha that they're talking about is the real name of Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama. And yeah, this is blasphemy law in most, I would say most Commonwealth countries because of the colonial influence. Blasphemy law is the legal thing. Even in India, Pakistan, Pakistan, even they have an Islamic law for blasphemy as well. But even without that, blasphemy law is a thing in most uh, Commonwealth countries, uh, including Sri Lanka is the same. Article the article uh, section 291b I think of the penal of their penal code it is the blasphemy law saying that if you incite anything again which hurts religious sentiments you can be charged for that and yeah it is and also like I was saying uh, in Buddhism uh, as I was saying in the last news this, there's this particular Thai Buddhist culture which is not very open to homosexuality and they think like this is the uh, homosexual urges are the bad karmic uh, consequences because of karma uh, from your previous life and in, in other buddhist context like i think um in tibetan buddhism i think they have the hinayana text which says that uh, certain kind of sexual acts are immoral and like this and this is by the way this uh, this story was about like homosexuality between monks so even if like in any case like let's say homosexuality was completely okay with buddhism this would still have been a problem because buddhist monks are supposed to stay away from sexual urges and everything uh, in certain cultures i believe also like according to the the dalai lama himself he has had several different uh, views on homosexuality for one i think it was in 1994 he said in an interview if they are consenting adults it's fine but then again in a book he wrote in which was published in 1996 i think he wrote that yeah it's not exactly fine uh any sex which is not uh the pino vaginal sex between a marital couple um, and uh, then married couple, then that is immoral, he said in that book. And later on, he tried to defend himself saying, oh, it is fine. I was just talking about just the Buddhist. The followers of Buddhism are not supposed to act in that way. If your religion, if your particular religion allows it, then and if you are consenting at us, then OK, it's fine. But it still stands that according to him, the Dalai Lama, that Buddhist followers cannot engage in homosexual activity and monks just it's sexual urges for them i guess they should try to prevent having sexual urges and yeah for this now i think i have more to say but can i read the, 
Can I read that uh, comment that was left on the post? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't need your permission. Um, <laughs> Hashini, Hashini uh, is saying, I live in Sri Lanka and I don't see anything wrong with his story. Uh, I've read his content and it's a genius. Uh, anyway, the backlash is expected because everything in our country is controlled by Buddhist monks who are in reality a very distasteful cult that has has a say in everything such as education, health, law, politics, etc. Et they even decided to ban sex education books for teenagers and, they, and the education system agreed. They advise, advise in, quote, in quotes, quotation marks, they advise on who to vote for. I think by putting the advice in quotation marks, she means that they don't just advise, they control it, right? Um, they say, then she continues, they, they say what should and shouldn't be done during a pandemic. People respect them more than they, more than deserve and believe everything they say. Buddhism is supposed to be a philosophy, not a religious cult. Well, Hashini, the reason why it's acting like a religious cult is because it is a religious cult. <laughs> All right. So, See, I mean, I am not just shutting you up only because I agree with you on this. Like, I remember this on this. <laughs> Here's what I have but, to say about this. This Buddhist story comes right after the story about, um, we were talking about Jews. And interestingly enough, there is a term for a lot of Buddhists in the United States, Jew booze. Because they all used to be Jewish. <laughs> There's tons of them. It's a joke, like, but it's kind of a true stereotype joke about how many of the Buddhists in the United States used to be Jewish. So it has nothing to do with anything. I just had to bring it up and say Jew booze. Okay. There are, there are actually many Buddhists and Hindus I've seen who believe that Buddha and Jesus were the same person. Mm -hmm. I've heard that too. I, but yeah. I just want to point it. Oh, go on. Okay, no, first you go on. No, no, it's irrelevant. So I'm going to put it at the end. Okay, I mean, mean irrelevant. Okay, so yeah, oh, what I was wait. saying is speaking of Buddhism, look, uh, hey. the uh, um, Varjas okay. or the Dorjas that smash evil. That's cultural Buddhism. appropriation. How dare you, guys? Guys, well, it has you know, pay, you know who, pay attention. Uh, Shopam, you wanted to say something. <laughs> Now, you know who actually the first cultural appropriation was done to the Buddhists by the Hindus because they okay. when they start because Buddhists I think I should give a little context to Buddhists. No, wait, are you going to talk about the story? Right yeah, now? Okay, I would have to say, talk about this. I was just talking about how Buddhism is shared and Buddhists are also shared. <laughs> oh, so I would anger many people, but I would okay. just wanted to say Buddhism is just filtered Hinduism. It's Cherry picks its own bullshit. It has lots of bullshit derived from Hinduism, but mm. they left out some bullshit because Buddhism was in Hinduism. There's the caste system, and Buddhism originated in the second top class, which is the Kshatriya caste. And they said that, hey, we are the rulers, so why are we not the uppermost uh, caste? And why are these Brahmins above us? Let's make a re new religion or let's change this thing or something. And that's how they came up with Buddhism. And these people just left out some caste parts and some things and they took their own bullshit. But these people, they don't hesitate to give death threats. Now, I uh, I think it was like a couple of months ago, I got uh, lots of death threats from Buddhists because I just like commented some scriptures, some verses from the scriptures suggesting that, hey, see, Buddhism is sexist. These are the words which are supposed to have come from Buddha himself and these are very sexist and they just started giving me death threats and they're really against anything which defiles Buddhism I guess which happened to this writer as well okay so now if anybody wants to say something interesting about Buddhism that is not irrelevant relevant to the story <laughs> now that now's the time this I'm, is relevant. No, I'm giving you permission okay <laughs> 
No, it is relevant, but it needs to be like somewhat relevant. Okay. I mean, they're uh, supposed yeah. to smash ignorance, and they're being ignorant. I'm just making yeah. A joke. So can I say something okay, about another Buddhism? another thing? With no, wait. You talk to the so, you talk so much. <laughs> no, wait. Shut up. Let me go. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. <laughs> Yeah. I'll kick you. you gotta have the power to kick you out, right? <laughs> I mean, I have the power to spread misinformation against you. <laughs> All right, we'll jo really? Join, join. I mean, people army. already join think of you as racist. You think you would, you think it would be changed? People already think of you, you as racist. You think you would be at, like you and the army of other people that are doing that? You think you being added to the that is going to make much of a okay? Let's get back to the topic, guys. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna tell my anyway. story. I'm gonna mute you. Okay, no. Hold it. Hold on. I'm gonna uh, mute your pop. I'm gonna... <laughs> so... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. God wait, damn wait, it. Wait. Okay. Okay, no. So I was just mentioning about since this is about homosexuality and Buddhism, there's this particular another culture. I think it is in Japanese Buddhism, I'm not sure, but they believe that homosexuality is just like it's not completely a sin like something which you will but it's like something i mean the term they use i don't remember the exact term but it's like something is lying uh suffering yeah so they were saying you are suffering as a person by being homosexual and uh, it is the same with a liar or anyone who kills an animal a mosquito even a mosquito and it is the same as them you are just suffering as a person are you done <laughs> yeah. I give we you give the permission. You permission. Talk. Right. Okay, okay. So, um, when I was in Thailand, I have videos of how sexist Buddhism could be. Okay, like when I told you the stories of people being like uh, panicking over um, uh, me and my wife wearing shorts, and they were panicking over her wearing shorts, but me not me wearing shorts in these holy places that apparently this very powerful magic is going into the in the, around their temples but all their magic and all their spells that is healing and blessing people uh, the counter spell to that is apparently as women's legs right that it will just deactivate all their powers right so that's they are very aggressive against and i recorded how aggressive they are against um female skin when i was in thailand which i want to publish on my ideas on bucks channel which by the way you guys should subscribe to the ideas on bucks channel i don't know if they let me back in thailand if i do that i just i'm just worried about that but i want to do that so yes i just wanted to plug my other channel which is ideas on bucks that's what that's the whole point yes yeah. irrelevant yeah. points from armin hey i'm gonna remove i'm removing shapam from this <laughs> by the it's way a why public, not a dictatorship <laughs> We can change that. Um, why is it? First of all, why is it that everybody is defending Shobham when I'm uh, when I'm interrupting him, uh, but nobody is defending Rivka um, when I interrupt her? <laughs> I I call anti-Semitic tendencies in our live chat, right? Nobody defends Rivka. You are all a bunch of anti-Semites. <laughs> See, Rivka agrees with me. All right, so I think all it's right. thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos. So, F that. 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not. We don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 